Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. And so, in this video, we will quickly review how to complete the square and how to use that method to solve quadratic equations. Before we get into solving quadratic equations, though, by that method, let's look at how we solve an equation of this form. 2 bracket x minus 3 square minus 8. Before we do that, let's look at a simpler one. Let's say we start with 2x square equal 50. Then if we have 2x square is equal to 50, then what we can do first is to divide both sides by 2. And that would give us x square equal 25. And then from here, we would find the square root of both sides. And that would give us x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 5. We often write that as x is equal to plus or minus 5. We can use this same technique to solve this equation. How? First, let's write this in that form. So we are going to write first 2 bracket x minus 3 square is equal to 0 plus 8 in which case we get 2 bracket x minus 3 square is equal to 8. Now, once we have done that, we need to divide both sides, as we did here, by 2. So dividing by 2 gives us x minus 3 all square is equal to 4. And now we are at this point where we need to um, find the square roots. So let's find the square roots. So, finding the square root of this and the square root of this, and that's what we get. The square root of all of this is simply x minus 3, and we know the square root of 4 would be positive or negative 2. And so, we have a situation where we have two linear equations resulting from this. They are 1, x minus 3 is equal to 2, and the other one, x minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Positive 2, negative 2. And so we need to solve these linear equations. So x is equal to 2 here, plus 3. And that would give us x is equal to 5. That's one answer. And then here, x is equal to negative 2, plus 3. In which case, x is equal to positive 1. And that's our second answer. So that's how we solve equations like this. This becomes important because when we complete the square, our answer will look something like this, and then we will need to move forward from there to solving the equation. Let's try it. Remember, solving, re, um, completing the square is a method that we um, use to manipulate an, an expression like this, a quadratic expression like this, to make it look like this. And once it looks like this, then we can identify the vertex and the um, axis. And this is what we call completing the square. Let's try it out on, oh, first, the formula. h is equal to b over 2a, and k is equal to c minus the c minus b square over 4a. And of course, we know that we are talking about this a, b, and c. Let's try out the method on this um, equation here. First, we need to complete the square on it. So let's write down our a. This is our a. This is our b, this is our c, and h is equal to b over 2a, which gives us negative 10 over 2 times 5, and that gives us negative 10 over negative 10, and that gives us a negative 1, oh, I'm sorry, over 10, not over negative 10, negative 10 over 10, and that gives us a negative 1. And now we're going to work out the... Um, k value, which is c minus b square over 4a, and that, of course, you know is negative 15 minus negative 10 square, that's b square, over 4 times a, which is 4 times 5, so that gives us negative 15, um, writing it out here, negative 15 minus 100 over 20, which is the same thing as negative 15 minus 5, 
and that's negative 20. So we can rewrite this 5x squared minus 10x minus 15 equals 0 as 5 bracket x minus 1 square minus 20 equals 0. Now let's take this to another page where we can solve it. So let's put it over here. So now that we have this equation in this form, we need to go ahead and solve this equation. And the first thing we're going to do is to remove the 20 to the other side. So we're going to have 5 into x minus 1 square equals 0 plus 20. So 5 into x minus 1 square is equal to 20. Then we go ahead and divide by 5. And that gives us x minus 1 all square is equal to 4. And then, of course, we find the square roots. So we end up with x minus 1 is equal to positive or negative 2. And then this now gives us our two solutions. So the first solution would be x minus 1 equal positive 2. And the second one, x minus 1 is equal to negative 2. So here we can solve this equation by saying x is equal to 2 plus 1, and therefore x is 3. And here x is equal to negative 2 plus 1, x is equal to negative 1. And those are the solutions to our equation. They are x equal 3 and x equal negative 1. All right, so that is pretty much how we solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. Now let's apply that same principle of solving a quadratic equation by completing the square to this method, to this general quadratic equation, using the other method that we used when we were learning about completing the square. So first we separate the x terms. And so that would give us ax squared plus bx plus c <coughs> equals 0. Now, we are going to divide through this um, bracket by a because we want to have a x square here. So a into this would give us x square plus b over a plus our c right there. And then the next thing to do would be to find half of this, square it and add it to the bracket, and then subtract it from the outside here. So we'd have a x squared plus bx over a. Now half of b over a would be b over 2a. Remember, we square it and add it to the bracket. And then we say, okay, c. Minus from that, this b over 2a square times that a. It's important that we multiply it by this a because a multiplies this one. Then we factorize x plus b over 2a all square and simplify this. So let's simplify it up here. So c minus... Um, rather not equal, let's not put an equal there. C, um, C minus B, this is a B square, so we square it, over 4A square times that A gives us C minus B square over 4A. Um, this A divides out one down there, and we can simplify this further by saying 4AC minus B square over 4A. So we can write that as plus 4ac minus b square over 4a equals 0. And we can continue, continue with this. This would almost be, well, we're finished with this part. We have completed the square on it. Now let's try to solve this and see what we get. Um, let's copy it to another page, though. There's no more space here. And so once we have this, 
we're going to remove this to the other side of the equation as we did before. In, in doing this, we simply need to rearrange the numerator. So we have um, a bracket x plus b over 2a square is simply going to become, uh, let me write it a little bit further down, uh, just a moment, a bracket x plus b over 2a square is equal to b square minus 4ac. Uh, that's not a good looking a. Um, b square. Let's fix that. Just a moment. Minus 4ac. Yes, very good. Over 4a. So that's what we end up with when we remove this to the other side of the equation. Now we need to divide through by a. Now when dividing this side by a and this side by a, we end up with on this side x plus b over 2a all square is equal to b square minus 4ac over 4a square. Very good. And now we need to find the square root. Let me just switch to a different ink and bring it up here. So applying the square root to this side and applying the square root to this side gives us on this side, x plus b over 2a is equal to positive or negative b square minus 4ac over 4a square. But notice the denominator here. In the denominator, it says 4a square. We can find the square root of that. The numerator is a bit tricky. We can't find the square root of this as is, but we can find the square root of this part. That would be 2a. So it's going to be the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And we're almost done. So now what we need to do is to remove this to the other side and we'll get our x. So now we have x is equal to, this is a positive b here, so we'd have a minus b over 2a plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Notice now that both of these two fractions have the same denominator, and so we can just go ahead and add the numerators, and so we can finish this up, tidying it up by saying x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And as you realize, this is what we call the quadratic formula. So we can solve quadratic equations by using factorization. We can solve quadratic equations by using completing the square, as we did earlier. And when we apply the completing the square method to the general quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, this is what we get. We end up with the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula can be used to solve all types of quadratic equations as long as they can be solved. So it can be used to solve all types of quadratic um, equations and it gives you a speedier way of doing it rather than going through the method of completing the square. So remember, when you're solving a quadratic equation by completing the square, first you complete the square, and then you take that equation and you solve it by saying, okay, 5x squared minus 10x minus 15. Here we go. We um, remove the 20 to the other side. We divide it by 5, took the square root, and once you end up with um, this situation here, we create two tiny equations, 1 and 2, solve them and you get your answer. And if you should apply the, quadrat the, the method of completing the square to the general quadratic equation, what you end up with is the quadratic formula that we will use later on to solve other equations. Now that you've seen it, you may want to go get some more practice until you have it cemented.
And please, if you haven't subscribed, then please do. And thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.